Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Teresa T for Two. I have my uh, candle and wax MDs that I'd like to share with you today. And to be honest, it's more than just one month's worth. <laughs> I am really behind in, on uh, putting videos up. So this is more like two months worth. And apologize for the background being a little busier than normal but what you are looking at is my home office. <laughs> I am now working from home and I'm super grateful to have a job again and be able to work from home, so don't mind that. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the candles first and I had a really great round of um, candles this two months. Super, super great burning candles. The first one that I'm going to show you is from Yankee Candle and it is Fruit Fusion. If you can see the label, it's a little shiny. <laughs> but this is um, the large, large one wick jar, paraffin wax. And for those of you that are interested, there is the um, year is a 2019 pour. It's their large jar one wick paraffin wax. And as you can see, it burnt all the way down. Look how beautiful it burned, how clean it burned. This is one of the cleanest large jars that I've had in a while. I mean, absolutely nothing, no residue, no nothing. This pulled out like a dream. I had this burning in my living room most of the time. And added bonus, you could actually smell it. <laughs> Yankee Candles lately are just notorious for being so light. We always wish that they were stronger. This actually performed very well. In my open concept living area, it was a good seven, a good solid seven. I could definitely smell it. And the scent, I absolutely love this. It is definitely fruity, which I do love for the summer and for the warmer weather. But it reminds me of, if this is such a thing, it smells like tropical fruit lifesaver candy. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me, and I really do love this. I was very happy with the strength and throw. I would recommend this, and I definitely would repurchase this. In fact, when the Yankee Candle outlet opens back up, I'm definitely gonna go check it out and see if they have any of those in stock. So I think I've seen them there before. My next candle <laughs> does not have a label on it, and that is because I had to rehome it. A good piece of advice, save a couple of empty jars of your um, like Bath and Body Works, these tumblers. Keep a couple on hand in case you need them. I had just gotten a brand new order in. This is a Yankee Candle French Vanilla Two Wick Tumbler Smooth Wax. I had just gotten my order in and I was unpacking it and I just lost my grip and it fell to the ground and broke. <laughs> and it broke, luckily it broke into like four very large pieces of glass that kind of broke away from the candle and the candle and the wicks were still intact. So I was able to just drop it into this empty two wick tumbler jar that I had and burn it as normal and it was perfect. Um, yeah, it worked out perfect. The wicks didn't travel or anything weird. Uh, the, the smooth wax does leave quite a bit of residue on the glass, but that does not bother me. I had this burning primarily in my bedroom and again, this one did actually very well. Um, in my bedroom, it was a good seven out of 10. You could definitely smell it. It was a nice creamy vanilla scent, which I really appreciate because some French vanilla scents from other uh, companies can smell sort of um, fake and just not, not good. But this one was really nice. I would definitely repurchase this and I highly recommend it. Another great burning candle. And I didn't get puny wicks or anything on that or any soot. The next candle is from a candle company that I absolutely love. This is Root Candle. They are a beeswax blend wax. This one is in pineapple papaya. This is the large Vare glass, 10 and a half ounce. And I had this burning in a hurricane on this very table in my Eden kitchen. I didn't really get papaya, but you definitely get just a nice juicy with a hint of a creamy note pineapple. It is so good, the strength and throw, it was a good seven, seven and a half in my kitchen. I mean, you could smell it throughout the whole kitchen and a little into the living room for it being such a small candle. As you can see, it burnt all the way down, no issues at all. Because it's a beeswax um, blend, it does leave a lot of residue around the glass, but that does not bother me whatsoever. 
I love Root Candle. I recommend this one, um, and I would definitely buy this one again. It just, yeah, performed really, really well. It smells so good. Okay, there's that. This candle was really fun. This is from <laughs> L3 Waxy Wonders. They do wax melts and candles. This is their eight ounce parasoy candle. And I guess this is like a Harry Potter theme. I guess that's what this is. But the Grindelwald scent, it's like sugar cookie marshmallow. And that's exactly what this smelt like. And you see it says there's real cash inside. And there really was. <laughs> this right here is where it was attached. It was like a tinfoil pouch with a plastic bag inside and then your money was inside and it can be anywhere from a dollar to a hundred dollar bill I had a dollar <laughs> but that's a dollar more than I had so I'll take it but on top of that I mean the fact that this was just a great candle is just an added bonus um, as you can see it burnt all the way down no issues I had this going in my living room and for this only being an 8 ounce candle, I could still smell it. It was a very nice marshmallow sugar cookie scent. You could definitely smell it. So I was really impressed with the strength of this candle. And a lot of my one wicks, just the first couple of burns, I like to help them out so that they don't try to tunnel on me. So what I ended up doing was just getting my Yankee Candle Alumalid and putting it right on top. It just fits perfectly on top of this jar. I did that for the first couple of burns and then I didn't really have to do it thereafter, but it just, yeah, fits perfectly up on there. Highly recommend these L3 candles. I have two more in different scents that I'm very anxious to try out and not just because I wanna see how much money is in them, <laughs> but I, I definitely recommend those candles from L3. My next candle is a new favorite from Bath & Body Works and it is Warm Apple Pie. Is there, this is their three wick candle and there's your scent notes and your pour date is the 2019 and I never got to try warm apple pie when it first came out a few years ago but I heard people talk about how they wish that it was stronger and you know it was a really good scent but they just couldn't smell it very well well they must have listened because this one did really good I had this in my living room and I could definitely smell it. I would give this a good solid seven in my living, you know, open space living room. It did very well. You could definitely smell it. You get the crust note and a very realistic apple pie scent. I love it. I don't think, I, you know, I don't see any soot or anything. Love this scent. Would definitely repurchase. And the lid's really pretty. It's like leaves or something. Love this candle and would definitely, definitely repurchase. Leave stuff down here. Okay, and the next candle, I must have been in a pie mood because I have another pie candle. Also from, from Bath & Body Works, this is Blueberry Pie. And it is a 2019 pour again. And it's Juicy Blueberries, Flaky Crust, Sugar Crystals with essential oils. This was fabulous. Uh, it burnt all the way down as you can see. This was actually a very hot and fast burning candle. You do see a little soot there. Yeah, it was a pretty hot burning candle, but boy, it did, was this thing strong. It filled up my entire living room and down the hallway. And when it was lit, the light would come through all of these cutouts and it looked just gorgeous burning. I absolutely love this scent. I would definitely repurchase and I do have a couple, maybe three um, backups in my stash. So this is very very good that and berry waffle cone have become like my top top picks from bath and body works okay so that is all the candles so for the wax melt i will start with what i wasn't as crazy about i tried some things um wasn't real crazy about them we'll start with that the first one is from walmart this is sensationals this is new out for the spring aquaholic and it says eucalyptus and sea salt, but that's really not what I got from it. As you can see, I have two cubes left. That is a pretty wax color. But I liked it on cold. It just smelled sort of fresh, sort of like um, men's shave gel kind of thing. But when I warmed it, it just got really strong. I melted it in the bathroom. It was really strong and just really cologne and, and just too manly and cologne for me, for my taste. So I didn't really care for it, but if you do like those types of scents, you probably would like this one. So there was that one. 
and then <laughs> another new one for the spring and I know that I am in the minority on this because I know a lot of people love this one but Better Homes and Gardens Key Lime Cheesecake I didn't like it for one it was pretty light I used two cubes and it was still not very strong uh, but that's okay because I didn't really like the scent um, what I got on warm was like a coconut body lotion body care type scent and just a little lime I know that sounds weird but yeah that's what my nose picked up so and I definitely would not um, repurchase this one again but I know so many people love it so I am the odd man out there <laughs> okay then I went through a clamshell of Better Homes and Gardens Berry Christmas Everyone and on cold again I liked it you definitely got the berry note but when I warmed it there was just something about the bakery note in there that I didn't care for and I do think that this is a repackage of the um, cherry chestnut bread that came out last year that everybody seemed to really like I do think this is it repackaged because I didn't really care for that one either and this does smell just like it to me so if you liked that one last year pick this one up and tell me what you think you may like this if you like the cherry chestnut bread from back last year okay and here's another one <laughs> I know a couple of my waxy friends that like this one. Unfortunately, I did not. On cold, I did. I love mango. I love lemon scents. This is Better Homes and Gardens Mango Sorbet Limoncello. Um, as you can see, I only got through two cubes. On warm, it just got really bitter and almost cleaner to me. So, yeah, my nose is being finicky lately. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to be able to finish this. I think I'm done, but it was nice to try. It was, it was nice to try. And it smells good on cold. And then the last thing that I just didn't really care that much for, I got this at Ollie's for $1.49. It is from Glade Nutcracker Delight. It, I mean, it was strong enough and all that, but I just didn't care for the scent. It smelled a little artificial and waxy. So, yeah, I was able to get through it, but I just, I, would, I wouldn't repurchase it again. Okay, now let's get on to things that I do like. I got through one of these little surfboard clamshells uh, melts from Yankee Candle. I get these at Walmart also. I got this one on clearance for $2. They're normally like $3.93. Anyway, this is in Poached Pear Flambe. I love this scent so much. I like to melt this in the bedroom. It's just such a nice relaxing scent. It smells just like a cooked pear, like a sweet cooked pear. And it was nice and strong, just did one cube at a time. And I got a good seven, eight out of 10 in the bedroom. I would definitely repurchase this. And I think I have one more back up, but I would definitely repurchase this one. And I highly recommend it. And it lasted a long time in the warmer too. That's also a very, very, big plus okay I finished one clam of southbound peanut butter cookie birthday I did like this one I like peanut butter scents and wax this one kind of smelled like peanut butter and vanilla bean noel but it was pretty light I even tried it when it was brand new like after I cured it for two weeks and it was light and it's still pretty light but I did like it I just wish it was stronger I probably wouldn't repurchase it just you know for that unless um, unless it was stronger I got this one from Better Homes and Gardens from Walmart wild lavender linen I really like this one I melted it in the bedroom and bathroom um, it was nice and strong a good 7 8 out of 10 with one cube mostly I get just the linen I didn't really pick up much lavender but it was more like just a, a fresh out of the dryer laundry type scent and a little bit of a sweet laundry scent I really did like this one and I would definitely repurchase. It is a great bathroom melt. This is one of my all time favorites. I can melt this year round. I absolutely love this Better Homes and Gardens Marshmallow Candy Cane. I really wish that they would come back out with this because I don't think I saw it last year. Um, yeah, I don't think it came back out last year. So I hope it comes back out this fall. Love this, it's nice and strong. It makes your home just smell so clean and feel so cool. I get a lot of compliments when I melt this and I absolutely love it. And when it comes back, I will be stocking up. <laughs> I 
I'll buy like a whole sleeve. Another absolute favorite that they hope they bring back soon is Better Homes and Gardens Blueberry Bundt Cake. I do have a few more in my stash uh, for backup. I have shared a couple with friends and I hope that they love it as much as I do. I feel like this is a very realistic blueberry bakery scent uh, to me. And it's again, nice and strong, seven, eight out of 10 in the living room. I like to melt it with coffee sometimes. That is a really nice combination if you have not tried it. Definitely would um, pick this up again and recommend it. And try it with the coffee. Then I got through one clamshell of Gypsy Monroe Chim Chim Cherry. And it's supposed to be maraschino cherries, vanilla wafers, and coconut cream. I didn't really get any coconut from this. Um, mostly it just smelled like a cherry almond cookie, I guess. That's mostly what I got from it. But I did do cu two cubes at a time in my living room in my deep dish warmer. And I got a good 8 out of 10 throw. It was nice and strong and lasted all day. Um, but you can't repurchase from this company because they are defunct. <laughs> but I probably wouldn't, if I could, I probably wouldn't repurchase that one anyway. Just, I like more of a, like a juicy cherry fruity scent. Not so much the almond bakery. Then I did a clamshell of Goose Creek Brown Sugar Churros. And this was more like a cinnamon bakery to me. Um, the strength and throw were fine. It was a good seven, um, seven, eight out of 10 in my living room using two cubes. And I, I was able to get through it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because it was mostly just like a bakery cinnamon scent. But it wasn't bad. This is one of my favorites from Goose Creek. I love it in the candle and in the melt. This is peanut butter sugar. And it doesn't smell like you're like straight up peanut butter out of the jar um, or anything like that. And there's it, there's definitely not like an ice cream note in there, even though that's what the label shows. It's just like a nice, sophisticated, um, pretty, slightly peanut scent. And I really do like this a lot. <laughs> and it performed very well. No problems with the strength and throw. A good 7, 8 out of 10. I like to do that one in the bedroom. Then I did a couple of Easy Milk Cups from Yankee Candle. This one, I absolutely love this scent. I have the candle too, but I have not tried it yet. Oh, this is such a nice, warm, creamy vanilla scent. Love this. I had this going in the bedroom, and it's just a really nice bedtime melt. So I would definitely repurchase this. And I hope the candle, um, I hope the candle is strong, because th these were pretty decent. I got a good seven. Yeah, 7 out of 10 in the bedroom on my uh, centerpiece warmer. So I would definitely get that again. I have high hopes for the candle. <laughs> and this one I'm actually still working on. This is a Yankee Candle centerpiece and sun-drenched apricot rose. I love this scent so much. In fact, Crystal from Rainbow Melts is duping this scent. And I can't wait for my order to come so I can try it out. I absolutely love this scent. You definitely get the apricot and the rose equally uh, like a nice fruity floral perfect for spring or summer I love this scent so much I cannot get enough of it I think I have a couple candles in that scent too but I love it then I got through one scoopable this is from scoopable tart wax uh, she's no longer in business the owner of rose girls Jenny this was her mother's company and she decided to retire. I was very happy for her, but you know, very sad for me <laughs> because I love her scoopable tart wax. Fortunately, I do have a nice stash of these in different scents, so that should hold me for a while. This one's blueberry muffin coffee, and it's basically blueberry muffin with their absolute coffee oil. And you heard me mention this blend earlier. It's a very good blend, I highly recommend it. And I love scoopable tart wax. It's always nice and strong. It melts quickly. I love it. And these things last forever. The scent was still nice and strong even though it's from 2018. Love, love it. Okay, let's do some bags. And these bags, I didn't you know, start and finish them all in the same two months. They were items that I've been melting over time and just happened to finish in the last two months. So we'll start with, this was from Tiffany Candles which I don't even know if she is still in business. I know she changed her name to Scarlet Rain, but after that, I don't know if 
she's still open. But this was the um, little chunklets, and this one is in blackberry and mango sorbet cotton candy frosting with ginger ale overpour. So basically, blackberry mango ginger ale. I loved this. I know I can get this blend from other vendors, and it's just as good. I love this combination. These were nice and strong, even though they were, you know, two years old almost. Um, still nice and strong, performed very well, lasted a long time in my warmer. I would definitely repurchase this um, or, you know, from another vendor. I've actually had it from a couple other vendors, and I, I just love it. I love it. Okay, I finished this bag from Sassy Girl Aroma in What's the Scoop? And you see these scent notes there. That summer scoop is a Yankee dupe. It's like a strawberry ice cream scent. And then you definitely get the orange dream sickle. This was nice and fruity, nice and strong. I cut the chunks in half and do a half at a time. It lasted all day long in my warmer. I just didn't feel like changing it out, but it lasted all day. And it was a good eight out of 10 throw. Love this, would definitely repurchase that. I definitely love my fru fruity um, and fruity bakery scents. Okay, the next thing I finished was from Southbound, and this is Tropical Love Spell. And they were just cute little shapes in here. And it's basically Capri Blue Volcano and Love Spell from Victoria's Secret blended together. This smelled really nice, but I will say some Southbound scents fade over time. Um, you know, they don't last past the year mark for me. Um, some do, but some don't. This one was one that did not. It was definitely lighter than when I first got it. I did recently buy two clamshells of this, and I will make sure that I uh, melt those before the year mark. But I do love this scent, and I would definitely repurchase. This one did last past the, half, the year mark. This is Southbound um, Carnival Time. And it's like your like concession stand, um, typical carnival scent, but that addition of the raspberry snow cone just really makes this beautiful. I love it. This is nice and strong, eight, nine out of 10 in my living room, and it lasted all day. <laughs> I love this scent, and I would definitely repurchase. Definitely. Okay, a few more bags to go. Did a sample of Rainbow Melts Wildberry Zinger Tea. It's black raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, cranberry, and black tea. A very nice berry tea scent. Rainbow Melts performs very well in my home. Very nice and strong. She does bakery and fruity. I mean, she does it all good. <laughs> she does it all great. I love Rainbow Melts. Would definitely repurchase that. Loved it. I also, from Rainbow Melts, melted Frosty Days, Icy Peppermint, Eucalyptus, and Juniper Berries, and Sage. This was a nice, crisp, clean, cool scent. You definitely got the sage, and then everything else just kind of blended together. This was so good. Um, I really enjoyed this. I would definitely repurchase this, and it was nice and strong and the warmer. Yeah, it was just a nice, Fresh, clean, icy scent. I loved it. I also melted um, from Rainbow Melts, got coffee. She does coffee scents so, so well. Her blends are just fabulous. And this is one, if you like a stronger coffee scent with less of the sugary bakery scents, this is the one you want. Dark roasted coffee, brown sugar, graham crackers, and cream. Loved this so much, nice and strong, lasted all morning. Uh, I would have let it go longer if I just didn't, you know, went in the mood to try something different. But super strong, eight, nine out of ten in my living room. Okay, the next two I'm going to show you came from Patricia from a wax company in Canada, Tallulah and Poe. And this one is Honey Be Mine, raw honey, chocolate, and cocoa butter. I did like this. I'm finding that I like honey scents and wax. I really do. Um, the chocolate didn't come out real strong, but that's okay with me. Um, this was nice and strong in my bedroom. A uh, good 7, 8 out of 10. I did like this very much. Now this one, though, I loved, loved, loved. Oh my gosh, I need more of this. <laughs> From Tallulah and Poe, Candy Fluff, Salty Sea Air, and Grapefruit. That Salty Sea Air and Grapefruit really came out the most and blended so well together. Oh gosh, this smelled good. <laughs> it made me feel like I was 
at the beach. I love this. I definitely want more of this. I'm going to have to go to Tallulah and Poe website and find out when this is going to be poured again because this was super good. Nice and strong. It lasted a very long time in my warmer. I loved that one. Okay, the next one I got from Shannon. She included several um, extras and a de-stash that I got from her and I was so grateful uh, to be able to try all these different vendors that I had never tried before. So thank you so much again, Shannon. This was from Teddy Bee's Strawberry Pound Cake. It's a Bath and Body Works type. It was really good, just like the candle. Got your strawberry, got your you know cake note. Strawberry Bakery, loved it. It was nice and strong. Seven, eight out of 10. I did this one in the bedroom. And yeah, I would definitely repurchase that. Loved it. And I can't remember if I got this from um, Shannon also or if I got this from Valerie, but this was Salt Mountain Circus Animal Stuffed Sugar Cookies. So good. I have been loving all these animal cracker scents. Uh, Rainbow Melts just did one as well and hers is fabulous also. This smells just like the cookies, you know, the little circus frosted cookies that you see in the bag. This smelled just like it and performed very well in my living room, a good eight out of 10 and lasted about six hours. I would definitely repurchase that again. I got Hayden Rowe, a little ducky and sweet lavender. Melted this in the bedroom. Hayden Rowe is another vendor that performs very strong in my home, very nicely. This was a good eight, nine out of 10 in the bedroom. Lasted all night and I would definitely repurchase that. Love sweet lavender. This is from Vintage Chic Scents. This was a freebie and a de-stash that I had gotten. And I love this scent. It's like strawberry, blueberry, and lemon poppy seed cake or something like that. It smells so good. And I have been begging Kirby, um, maybe not hard enough, <laughs> to pour this again so I can stock up because I love this and I need more. That It was so good. It was so good. This is also from Vintage Chic Scents. It is Chef Wendell's Cinnamon Squares. And this is basically the dupe for um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. And that's exactly what it smells like. It was a cute leaf shape. And it smelled just like the cereal. Um, a good seven, eight out of 10 in my living room. I love it. I would definitely repurchase. And I think I have a loaf in this. So I will be enjoying that. I do love that scent. Love this one as well from Rose Girls. Raspberry Coconut Donut Ice Cream Sandwiches. Her raspberry sauce is so, so good and nice and strong. You definitely got that. Um, the coconut wasn't too overpowering. So it was like a nice creamy raspberry scent. I loved this. It was a chunk muffin. I do those in fours and um, yeah, and do a fourth at a time. Rose Girls always performs in my home as well. I got a good 8 out of 10 in my living room. Would definitely repurchase that. Loved, loved it. And only three more things to go, guys. This was fabulous. This is from Britta's Creepy Treasures. It's Bubblegum Lane. I did half of the scent shot at a time. And there's your scent notes. This smelled so good. I do like bubblegum scents, but this one is just the best I've ever smelled, and it lasted forever in my home. I just, I loved it. I definitely need more of this. If you have not checked out Britta's Creepy Treasures yet, please do. Um, her scents are nice and strong. They last, and they're, they smell good. <laughs> this is, ugh, my favorite bubblegum scent, like, ever right now. I'm definitely going to need more of that. Definitely need more of that. Okay, and then I did some Sugar and Spice, another company that I absolutely love. Her melts are soy wax. They throw very, very well in my home, very nice and strong. This is strawberry white cake. I did this in thirds, but you probably could do it in fours because her wax is very strong to me. And this was a very nice strawberry bakery scent. I, I love strawberry <laughs> and her, her strawberry is really good. And I have accumulated quite a stash from Sugar and Spice and I need to start melting them more and not hoarding them because I love them so much, but you're supposed to melt and enjoy them. So I'm, I mean, I'm working on that. And then lastly from Midnight Daydream Wax Company, this is Banana Bonanza. And I think his are soy as well. I think his wax is soy also. 
and you see all the scent notes this was just a nice strong delicious banana scent it wasn't like banana candy it was just a nice banana scent I did this in the living room it threw great I get a very good throw from his wax um, yeah it was a good eight nine out of ten and I had it going for about six hours before I changed it out also check Harrison his name is Harrison check out his company if you have not done so love his wax and that is it that is all my empties thank you guys so much if you stayed with me till the end I appreciate you guys for watching as always and I will see you soon uh, on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.